Greetings guys and gals, my name is Thad and welcome back to our little gothic 3 melee only playthrough. Last time we fought in the great arena of Morasul before we ventured out into the desert to help this lonely paladin who then gave us uh, a fire chalice, which was quite nice of him actually. So, uh, what are the plans for this part? Well, I'm guessing we are just trying to... wait, you know what, we're actually going to look in our quest book for that. Let's see, how many quests do we have in Morasul still left? All right, all right, all right. Uh, Kafu's guards. You know what? We're we're going for Kafu's guards and also the, for the Jasmine or Yasmine quest. I think she's actually not pronounced Jasmine because she's written with a Y, and that's why I think she's pronounced <laughs> Yasmine. Oh wait, there's our little leg. As always, shortly after we start the game. Now we're also trying to search for Kafu's guards, but honestly, I have no idea where they could possibly be. Yeah, we were there. Um. I know that we have some business business sorry for that, with the uh, slave who is sitting here. I think his name was Yusuf. Um, oops, little little bit more leggy. Um, yeah, but before we got the quest, I don't know. I think he even has a temple key. Wait a minute. You know what? Let's let's talk to him first bef before we decide to do anything else. What are you doing out here? Are you a runaway slave? No chance of passing for anything else. You won't betray me, will you? True. There's bound to be something I can give you. But please, let me go. What can you tell me? Everyone is after me. I stole the keys to the temple of Morasul. How many? And sold them to them? some influential no. people. But before I could sell oh. the last one, I had to run for it. That means you still have a temple key. Give it to me. All Whoa. right. <laughs> I just hope you'll let me live. I have a hunch what you're planning to do. You want to open the temple? Let me tell you, there's a curse on that temple. There are. Think? Old Nazir <laughs> warned me about it. He said a great disaster would befall us if the temple was opened. Hey, Nazir, we talked to that guy. Yeah, who bought who the temple? Who in bought the temple keys from you? I had four keys. Yeah. The mercenary Kirk paid a lot of gold for one of the keys. I sold right. one to Ilya, and the third to the boss of the city, Gonzales. Yeah, Gonzales. What do you know? All right. So that means, yeah, we gotta go to Ilya Gonzalez and Kirk to find the other one. And yeah, the fifth one, we already know that Kalash, the Orc commander at the temple has it, so... Yeah, but now we know at least where everyone, every key is. Ah, oh, sand crawlers. Yuck. So now we just uh, need to find the oasis where... Uh, where the guy with Yasmin is chilling. Is it there? Probably right. This looks oasis. God damn it! God damn sand crawlers everywhere, man. I mean, it's better this better than zombies, I guess. But you know, we gotta we gotta level. Wait, how many learning points? We got thirty learning points. That's a lot of learning points. We gotta invest them, man. Gotta invest them in some health. I think we're going to pray on the next Belia shrine we find. Hey, look at that. This is the oasis I was searching for. Ah. Take a little bath and some cooling water. And probably dirtying the drinking water for everyone that comes here. Alright. Gonna take the sunweed because we're gonna have to make gonna make some potions. What is that? No. I thought that was something I, we could put up. We could pick up. Cool. I want sunweed. And let's talk to... Oh, wait. That's nomads. That's not the oasis we're looking at. Oh yeah, right. I remember what happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember what happened here. Yeah. Where are we? Oh, we are too far away from Marasul, I think. Anyway, we need to look closer to Marasul. Actually, but we are still looking for for an oasis, right? Ugh. Sandcrawler is attacking me again. You know what? Let's put him down. You think you can attack me from behind, huh? Just gotta sneak up on me? <laughs> Pathetic. Alright, hey, is that King Sorrow? It is, right? Gonna pick that one up. Yes, 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 King Sorrow. The most valuable plant in the game because we can make some permanent potions out of it. Alright. Hey, there's rhinos. Rhinos in the desert? That doesn't seem right. What are you doing here? Weird, weird. Wait, are we? Yeah. 
So the, the, the tower is actually where... Ooh, a grave. Heck, we can dig there. But are we... Do we dare play grave robbers? You know what? Yeah. You know exactly what you did when you put that cross there. Oh, some gold. Four pieces of gold, actually. That's kind of nice. They are worth many... Uh, <laughs> the gold is worth many pieces of gold. <laughs> and these pieces of gold we can trade in for some potions. Hey, what with the lags? I'm very excited for the Temple of Al-Shadim, but I don't want to mix up the temples, so yeah. So last thing we are probably going to do in the desert is uh, going to Al-Shadim. Because I still don't know how you can get this much reputation with the Hashishin that you can go to Ishtar. I'm not sh like I'm not sure. I think to go into Ishtar, uh, you actually have to... Uh, oh, there's another grave. You know what we're going to... What's with the legs? Is that the curse? Because we... We got grave robbing people, and <laughs> then just lags permanently. Yeah, there's some file lizards there. What's in here? The, the graves, like I, I say it again, the graves have much better contents than most chests we, we loot, so yeah. Can make me feel bad about that. I mean, yeah, of course. I, I feel bad about robbing, <laughs> robbing the graves, but not the temples, oh no. But what other oh, is a temple than a giant grave, right? No, it would be kind of cool if the undead would spawn every time you do the grave. Now that I think about it, it sounds kind of exhausting actually, but, you know. So, oasis, oasis, I don't see. What's with the lags, man? Why does it lag so bad in this part? I very much apologize for that. Oh, that seems, this seems like a big lag. Oh, hey. Game almost crashed, alright, that's not good. Don't know why. Hmm, where is the oasis? I have no idea. You know what? Let's go to Morasul and actually talk to Ili or to the two people, bless you, that have a uh, temple key that we know of. Morasul, there we go. Teleport back to the city. Orknarok is waiting. That's always nice to know, I guess. Now let's go to, go to Ilya first because we already did some stuff for him. So maybe he will just give us the temple key. Probably not though, he will probably sell it to us for a lot of gold. Wait, hey, he, did, he already did give it to us, I'm stupid. <laughs> I already forgot, yeah, of course, we traded the... Yeah, 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 he was the one who wanted the vase, or vase, for the temple key. I forgot, we already got that, right? So we already got two of the keys, yeah, yeah, alright, alright, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that, I completely forgot about that, actually. My apologies. So the fighter Kirk has the other one. Right? What is it with the legs today? I'm so sorry about that. That was Octos. The fighter Kirk, you say. Paladin? Ulk? Ulk. What kind of name is Ulk? What do you want? Sorry. Um. The fighter Kirk. Where would I find such a man show me your goods hmm. do you sell something funny to us no shishi fighter kirk 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 hmm hmm philippe hunktos elk where's a fighter named kirk ramon what do you have all to offer? right what do you have to <laughs> offer the most influential merchants in the entire desert live in this damn city, and their great wealth matches their position. If you help me to lighten their burden somewhat, I could oh. teach you how to really line your pockets. He was the thief. Yeah, yeah, you know, you want the soul chalices. I know, I know, I know exactly what you want. You know what, let's get some HP, actually. So we don't forget. <laughs> I tend to there forget we that are. we have, like, a lot of learning points. Life force, please. Grant me a life force. And a lot of it. Alright, so now we got 718 life force. That's crazy, actually. That's a lot of life force, man. <laughs> I wanna I wanna sit at a, at a good thousand <laughs> before we do the last quest in the game. Show me your goods. Alright, we're going to take these. And that's about it. How many lockpicks do we have at this point? 
Only 83, huh? I would have guessed it was more. Anyway, the fighter Kirk. The fighter Kirk. Fighter Kirk. Fighter Kirk. Fighter Kirk. I have no idea where he could be. He's probably at the. At the wouldn't make any sense if he was at the temple. Maybe he's. No, that was Ismail. Right, that was the guy who wouldn't sell me any blades, even though he just specifically told me that he would say, sell me blades. But he said he sold uh, them to the people in the city, right? So that would lead me to believe that Kirk is actually a guy within the city. Right? Am I stupid for that? Probably. This guy is sharpening his blade all day long, got the sharpest blade in town. Probably in the whole of a round. Kirk. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now I have no idea where this Kirk guy is supposed to be. Don't tell me more about the Fire Mage. I already know everything about the Fire Mage. Where is Murat's oasis? Not far from these walls to the west of the city, son of disorientation. All right. <laughs> son of disorientation. <laughs> is my eloquent retort to what uh, you've been saying, dear man. Dear man. Alright, so to the west. You know what? I should have asked him that in the first place. I cannot be everywhere at once. No one is expecting that from you, my boy. To the west, yeah, that's, that's not where I looked at all. I went right to the east because apparently I am very stupid. But if you have been watching this playthrough for an for some time, you will probably already know that. To the west, to the west. Journey to the west is a famous Chinese poem. Has to do with Chinese mythology. That's true, by the way. Look it up. I didn't make it up. You're carrying the stones. Ah. To the west, you say. That should be here, right? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, I see it. I totally see it now. This part is going to be way too long again. I, I already. <laughs> the fun thing is always when I when I think like oh I've been co recording for hours again, like and it has only been like twenty minutes or so, like 15, 20 minutes, and every single time I think oh it's, it hasn't been that long, it hasn't it hasn't hasn't been that long, and in the end it's like already like thirty five minutes or so, and I'm like oh, oh fudge, <laughs> that's bad. Hey maybe the fighter guy Kirk is here. Probably not, though. Yasmin, we are going to take you. If you want to buy water, talk to the slaves. Oh, he got up in an instant. I bring you greetings from Hamid. Hamid, my old friend. Aww. How is he? He Hard is woman. doing good business. And he sends you this amulet as a gift. Hmm, very nice. That is something very special. <laughs> but, no, I cannot accept. You won't accept his gift? Certainly not without giving Hamid a gift in return. Makes sense, makes sense. What do you have to offer? I am a slave trader. I deal only in the most beautiful women in the country. Take a look at my wares and you will see that I speak the truth. You're welcome to go closer and talk to the girl of your choice. I kind of feel uncomfortable. Here is Hamid's amulet. Now let us negotiate your gift. Wait! You will receive 500 gold pieces from the treasure of the oasis. Nope. Hmm. Wait! Take a thousand gold coins from my personal treasure. Nope. Hmm. Alright, <laughs> hmm. I will give him That's... the lovely Yasmin as a gift. I think that will please him. Then let it be so. Please make sure that Yasmin reaches Morasul safely. Take notes how to negotiate, folks. Just say, hmm, every time <laughs> every time you get an offer. I'm going to buy that off of you for $35,000. And you're just like, hmm. All right, then. A million dollars it is. People say you are the most beautiful dancer in the land. I am? I'm wary of dancing. <laughs> oh. I hope that soon I will belong to someone who admires more than just my dancing. Oh, you got a pretty strong jawline there. Maybe they are my you eating. I'll take you out of here. Good. Yeah, Alright. Yasmin is taken away. That kinda sounds like a threat of some sort. Sunweed, healing root, 
Come on, Yasmin. Please don't make this part any longer than it has to be. It, it already is like <laughs> too long. I see it, I see it. I already see the, the, the people in the comments complaining. Oh, Thad, your parts are always so long. Ain't no one gonna watch it. Wait, then, then don't, alright? <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding. Please, please watch these parts anyway. <laughs> if you want, if you enjoy them. Alright. Yasmin, I'm going to educate you on this journey. You see this? This is a skeleton. We are done for today, my child. Come with me now. I'm, 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 I'm still very anxious about what or always happens to my comrades. Like they just disappear into some dunes or something like that. Every time. Every time. She's a born sprinter, that girl, I tell you. Alright. Come with me. Come on. You see that? That is called running. You could do that as well. But not as fast as me, apparently. Only like 85% as fast. Because that's what the programmers of this game wanted. To be these... <laughs> to make these escort missions as annoying as possible. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. You, you know by now. I love this game. But, but these escort missions, man, they... They, 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 they drive me to the brink of something, at least. Come on. Come on, then. You know what I can understand? Like, I mean, I mean, the slave business, like, yeah, right, of course, of course. And giving her these clothes, I mean, they are pretty revealing and all. But not giving her any shoes? Like, I mean, you can't see. Uh, uh, I was, I'm sorry, I was concentrating on her yawning because I thought it was a male yawn and was very confused uh, for a second. Anyway, given like not giving her any shoes or socks or anything to prevent her feet from practically burning up, I bet the sand underneath is like a thousand degrees, man. Sun shines every day. At, at least the slaves have shoes, as you see, but not the, not the female slaves, no. Their feet have to be hard and blistery. <laughs> uh, that's kind of gross. Come on. All right, Hamid. Here's Yasmin. I brought somebody for you. Lovely Yasmin, mine at last. Thank you so much, son of gallantry. Take this gold. I will also vouch for you with Gonzales. That's nice. Also, I would. Thank you. Hamid is an honest fellow. I will do well here. All right. She happy as well. Just wanted to say him that you. Don't just need to dance for him, but actually need to. And there she goes dancing again. Well, how is that any different from. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Alright, folks, so that's it for that part. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for this part, I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, you will be there in the next one. And until then, of course, have a nice day, have a nice night, and of course, as always. I'm not so sure about this. I am sure about this. Have a nice time.